I have a set of two crown dumbbells. We'll use them on and off throughout our class today. We are going to do reformer and mat on the mat. Just set mine down on the floor here for when I need them next. So we're gonna lie down, knees bent for some bridging, just starting with some mobility. I'm giving you a modification for some more difficult movements. You can always come back to the bridging, very first thing here today. We're pressing our arms gently into the mat, our tailbone lengthening towards your heels, and we're gonna breathe into our back ribs and fill up our back ribs against the mat. As you exhale, find your scoop, hollowing out the abdominals without tucking your tail under. Inhale into the back. And exhale, scoop and really hollow out the belly wall, pulling your abdominals into your low back. This time when we breathe out, we'll start to roll our spine up. Inhale. And exhale as you tip your tailbone upward toward the ceiling, imprinting through your low back before those vertebrae leave the mat. Give yourself a nice lift off, lengthening knees towards toes. And then exhale, roll down from the top of your spine, one vertebra at a time like a strand of pearls. Laying down all the way, inhale and exhale, roll it up again, try to wheel your tailbone straight up to the ceiling, then the bottom rib leaves the mat. Inhaling at the top, get a little longer, reach your arms, reach through your hips, through your knees, and roll top to bottom articulating the spine down. One more time, inhale and exhale. Roll through the pelvis, through the low back, through the ribs. Widen your collarbones, widen your shoulder blades, and then let your sternum roll down between the shoulder blades first, through every vertebra in your spine. Find your long neutral pelvis, no tuck, no arch in your low back, maybe a little hollow, and then deep scoop of your belly. We're gonna do a little leg lift, one leg up and the other leg up. I'm gonna bring both knees a little bit closer together. We'll just alternate our toe touches without changing our spine. Feeling how the low belly can help to move the legs with control. The leg muscles nice and easy at this moment. Work from your low, deep abdominals. Stabilize everything against the mat. I will do one more set before we move into our footwork. Stay here. I'm gonna bring my heels together, toes apart. Imagine my toes are now on the foot bar and then bring the hands behind the neck, palm over palm. On your next exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Take a look at those pointed toes. Imagine that foot bar again. Inhale, squeeze the legs out. Exhale, pull back in. We'll do nine, and in, and eight. Bring the legs together, squeeze them. Squeeze your sit bones, pull your navel deeper. We'll do three, and two, and one, and change to feet together, knees together, curl your toes over like you're a bird on a wire, lift the chest a little higher, we push and pull, nine, and in, eight, and in, seven, and in, and six. It's so hard to feel that, all 10 toes wide across the foot bar. I'm really fighting with my feet today, Get all 10 of them equally. We'll do two more. And last one, flex the feet like your heels are pushing into the bar now and push and pull, push and pull. Eight to go, seven. Keep your hips evenly weighted. We have four. And three, squeeze them together. Two, hold them out on one. Point and flex, point and flex. Eight, seven, six, 
five, turn them out, keep going, four more, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Okay, we're gonna move on to the roll up. So stretch your legs out long, arms to the ceiling, flex your feet to the ceiling. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, and exhale, nod the chin, peel yourself up and off of the mat, stretching forward over your legs. Inhale, reach through your heels, wheel your tailbone under to roll down, bone by bone, and inhale as you reach overhead. Exhale, coming up, scooping the belly in, stretching forward, ears between the arms, roll it down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, rolling up, stretching over your legs. Bend your knees if needed. You're just getting warmed up still. Roll it down with control. We're gonna do one more time. And when we come up, if you need to, at that point, find your dumbbells. Stretching forward. And we'll grab my dumbbells for the hundred. Today for the 100 onto our back, we'll do one full breath in and out with your arm pumps and one full breath in and out with heel beats. So roll back down, bring the knees to tabletop, reach the arms long, past the hips, lift the head and shoulders and reach a little longer with your arms. Inhale and stretch the legs out, exhale and pull into your belly. Here we go, pump your arms, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Heel beat, three, four, five, and exhale, three, four, five. Inhale, arms, and exhale, arms. Inhale, heels, and exhale, heels. Pause and arms, and exhale, pause and heels. Exhale, and arms, and out, beat the heels, and exhale, and bring it all the way back in. For short spine massage or the roll over, if bridging is better for you, go back to that. I'm just going to reach my dumbbells forward so they're just beyond bringing the legs to tabletop. We'll extend the legs out with the inhale, squeeze them together, press down with your arms, lift the legs up, lift the hips up and overhead. Bend the knees to your ears and keep your frog shape in your legs as you roll your spine down, bone by bone. When your tailbone touches, reach the legs out, stretch yourself longer, scoop the abs and roll the hips up and over. Bend the knees like a frog, Pulling your heels closer to your bottom as you roll down the entire weight of the legs into your trunk. I'll do two more. Reach, scoop and lift the hips up. Tail stays high as your knees bend and heels lower. And roll with control. Last short spine massage. Stretch it out. Lift up and over. Knees to ears. Heels towards bottom and roll the spine down. We're going to rock up to seated position or shave a head and hug a tree. Crisscross applesauce your legs, take your two pounds, bring the arms up and behind the head. And fingertips are touching, maybe your thumbs are touching as well. Now we're going to lift our waist up, pull the front ribs down, extend the arms and bend them back in behind the head if you can. Modify for any shoulder injuries to or issues to the brow. We'll do about five more. Exhale and reach, inhale and bend. Lift and lengthen your spine. You're pulling your waist taller every time you reach your arms. Lifting from the bottom to the top. So I'm squeezing my sit bones together just a little bit. One more time, holding up. Open the arms wide to the side. Cross your legs the other way. All right, begin with your inhale, wide breath. 
and your exhale, hug the tree. Nice round arms, inhale, wide breath, open the arms. Exhale, narrow the waist and close. Inhaling open, exhaling to close. Feel your shoulder blades sliding inward and downward, and then wide into your sides. Inward and downward, and wide into your sides, your armpits. Two more. Last time. And we'll lower the arms down. Going on to um, our short box, straighten the legs out. Imagine you have your foot strap and you're seated on the box. We'll use the dumbbells in a bit, so I'm going to set them right by my thighs. Give myself a hug around the waist. Squeeze the bottom, round forward over your hugging arms, and then just roll backwards, maybe until your sacrum gets level against the mat. Reach through your heels, and then come back up and over. Glue your legs together, roll yourself halfway back, and up and over. Two more, push through the heels as you roll your belly to the mat behind you, and up and over. One more time, squeeze the bottom, curl your tail under, and back up and over. Taking the dumbbells into the hands for flat back. I'm gonna take the arms up overhead as if I'm holding that stick, nice straight wrists. Lift up the waist and hinge forward just a bit. Taking that whole straight line of your body back, hold, and then back up to the top. Squeeze your bottom, pull your waist in, lean it back, and hinge back upright. One more time, lift and reach, holding for a moment. Coming back up, side bend. Stretch up and over. I'm going to let my bottom arm drop down and reach through the top arm. Bring the bottom arm up. Other side, lower the bottom arm, reach more through the top arm, and center. Lift the waist on both sides as you reach up and across the ceiling, and return. Lift up and across the ceiling, bottom arm can lower, top arm reaches. And we'll do one more each direction. Lift the waist, reach it up and over. These can all be done without your dumbbells, so if you're feeling any stress or strain, go ahead and set them down at any point. Bring the arms down for release, forward stretch. And we'll come back up for our twist. I'm going to take the hands behind the head, kind of interlacing my fingertips. Dumbbells are still there for me today. Twisting to the right, spiraling up taller, back to the center. Lifting up, spiraling the spine upward and center. Twisting, I'm going to take a little reach back to the diagonal and up center and twist. You can stick with just the twist or add that challenge to reach without bending the spine. We're just rotating and lengthening. Lifting up one more time to the other side and up and center, arms down. Dumbbells down for the tree. I'm going to keep my left leg in the center. Bend the right knee, pulling it up towards the chest. Pull into that leg to lift your waist a little bit taller. Extend and bend the leg. doesn't have to go straight. We're working our posture here, so we're trying not to slump back at this moment. One more time, we hold the leg long. Climb the hands up the tree. I'm still working my posture. And then as I bend my elbows, I'll round my upper spine a little more towards my shin. And I'm going to reach through that bottom leg as I take the leg back. Going back as far as I can, pulling my waist back and back up to sit bones. Roll back off of both sit bones onto the back of the pelvis and rock back up to feel both sit bones. This time we'll roll it back, keep the leg there, and climb down, 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 all the way to the shoulders if you can, and scoop in to climb back up, pressing your leg into your hands just a bit, head towards me, and we go down the tree, two, and three, and back up, a one, a two, a three, we'll do that one more time, one, 
and two, and three. This time we'll go all the way down, releasing the head and shoulders and press the palms into the mat for one leg circle. That top leg will lift up and across towards the left shoulder. Swing down, around, up, and pause. Up and across, down, around, and stop. We'll do four. Around and up, and three. Around and up, and two. That bottom leg is super strong and stable. And we'll reverse to the side, across and up. Side, across and up. If your quad or your hip is really gripping, soften your knee, feel it in your low abs. Two more. To stabilize your hips, not rocking and rolling. Bend that knee in, hands behind the thigh, and lift head and shoulders. We're gonna climb back up that tree if you'd like to stretch the leg out. Oh, I'm fighting for it. Up, up, up I go. Finding that best posture again. Maybe taking a hold of the toes with a flexed foot. And then we can do a little number four. Ankle over knee and fold yourself forward. Set up for the tree, other side. Resquare your hips. Reassess the posture. Take the thigh into the chest. Lift the head high. We keep the leg free. Two, elbows are wide, shoulders are open. This time we kick and reach up to the tree. Still posture, still lifting my low back. Then soften the elbows, round the upper spine. Chin is tucked to the chest, but not resting on the sternum. We're gonna roll back, deepening, deepening, deepening the abs, and rock back up. Should have a nice, consistent shape of that capital C from the top of the head through the tail. And this time when you're back, we stay back. Pull your stomach into the mat to control that climb down, down, down. Just let the shoulders touch and scoop and climb back up, up and up. Two more like that, down, 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 reaching that bottom leg away, climbing up, up, up. One more time. We go down. And we stay down here for single leg circle. Shoulders up and arms strong. Inhale around and up. Pull the leg to the right shoulder. Down, around and up. Lift up, around and stop. Lift up, around and stop. One more up, around and stop to reverse. Side, around and up to the side. Around and up, bottom leg strong. Two more. Last time, and we climb up. Then you bend your knee or reach through it to climb back up, up, up. By your good posture, flex the foot if you can, lift out of the low back, and then cross your ankle. Take your number four, give yourself a breath. We'll uncross, sitting up and sliding forward just a bit for rolling like a ball. If you want the challenge of the weights, go pick them up. They're right there on my ankles, so I'm going to take them. Finding balance just off of the sit bones onto the sacrum. I'm narrowing into my sit bones. I do have space between my knees for my ears eventually to fit. Pull your waist back so much that you roll back. Your head doesn't touch. You roll up and balance. Inhale to roll back, lifting the sit bones up and roll back to balance. Bring your hips high over the shoulders. We'll do three more. Shoulders are down the back. Twice more, roll and massage the spine and work your abs. One more time, roll back and up. And after your balance, your feet come down. I'm going to leave the dumbbells right there and slide back again. Combining the mat, we're going to ab five. So we'll start by placing the right hand on the right ankle, left hand on the left knee, taking that leg width as you roll back and the left leg will extend. We pull the knee towards the shoulder, pull, pull, switch the legs, pull, pull, and change, pull, pull, and change. Exhale, inhale, exhale. 
that strong leg that's reaching out. You're squeezing all the muscles in that leg and you're shooting it strongly like you're going right into a bullseye with the big toe and each side. One more time, right and left. Let's take both knees in, rest the head and shoulders, shake it out. We're coming back up for double leg stretch. Inhale, prepare and exhale, lift head, neck and shoulders. You have your frog shaped legs, heels together, knees apart. Inhale, reach the arms and legs away from your center. Circle the arms around, hug the knees in. We'll do five more and in. Do not let your head fall back as your arms reach upward. The arms can go here if you feel your head falling. Two more. Last one. And rest back down. We're going to go for the crisscross next, so we're back to the single leg movement. Hands go behind the head, lifting head and shoulders, and reach the elbows wide. I'm going to start by reaching left leg, rotating my body to the right knee, back to center, and switch sides. I'm trying to bring my armpit to the inner thigh of the bent knee, armpit to the inner thigh. I'm going to try to lift my bottom shoulder blade up off the mat a little bit more. We'll do three more sets. Exhaling as you squeeze out the waist. Here's two. And two. Last one. And one. Hugging the knees in. Shake your head side to side. Grab behind the thighs. Roll yourself up to seated position. We're going into our saw, so I'll use the dumbbells. Toes straight up. We just worked our rotation. I'm going to take the arms out wide with or without your dumbbells. Feet are at least mat width and flexed. Glue your heels and hips to the mat. Twist to one side. Reach across for the pinky toe and reach back with that back arm. Tricep. Palm to the ceiling, coming back up, palms forward. Rotate tall, reach for the pinky toe, head to knee, bicep to ear, back palm to the ceiling. Bring it back up, twisting, stretching beyond that pinky toe, using the foot and the hand into one another to find more rotation. Lifting up, turning, reaching. I'm pressing my hand into my foot, my foot into my hand, that oppositional energy. Coming back up, and we'll bring the arms down. Legs together, slide your bottom forward. And we're gonna roll down, setting up for corkscrew. For the challenge today, I'm just gonna set my dumbbells upright, hands on top of the dumbbells, and I'll give my body a little less stability. The legs are coming forward and squeezing together. And we'll do corkscrew one to the right around up and stop to the left around right and stop right around left and stop in the middle and left around right and stop there stay with that version or join me with the full rollover version here we go i'm going to lower the legs a little wrap the seat scoop the belly to lift the hips over tip the legs to the right shoulder and roll down along the right side of your spine with control. The legs do the low circle and we come up on the left side of the spine, finding the center. To the left, roll down along the left side. The legs circle around and up the right. Find the center at the top. One more time, right and down. Legs around and up the left and center. To the left and down, keep reaching through the heels, come up the right side, find the middle, and then roll down the middle of the spine. We'll hug the knees into the chest, and release the dumbbells for now. Just take the feet, just let them dangle, and we'll do a little spine twist. My knees are going to stay over my navel today. Taking the knees and the hips towards the right side, looking over the left. Scoop it back to center and to the left side of the legs, gazing over the right shoulder. If you want a little more challenge, you can do legs straight up. So I'm gonna do that, that TikTok here. I've got a little adjustment in my back. 
One more time. And center. Bend the knees back in. We're going to roll up to seated and then take our swan position. I'm going to flip over with my dumbbells in front of me. Feet together, slightly turned out. Start with palms down on the mat, forehead down on the mat, belly lifted up away from the mat. And I'm feeling the elbows draw backwards. My hands pull the mat backwards to lift my chest up. And then come on down. Pull with your palms, your elbows, your shoulders slide down as your chest slides forward and upward. Long neck, no wrinkles in the back. And then back down, releasing. One more time, we inhale, lifting, pulling the elbows back, shoulders back and chest forward, and lower back down. I'm gonna reach for the dumbbells, going into our T-pull variation of pulling the straps, as if we're on our long box, taking the arms wide to the side, forehead is just hovering down, chin is a little tucked in. As we sweep your arms back to your hips, you lift the head, neck, and shoulders, the chest up off of the mat, and reach back out wide to the side, really pulling right to left with your arms. Inhale, squeeze the upper arm into the body. Exhale, reach out right to left, try to touch both sides of the room. Two more, pull in, shoulder blades pulling in, upper arms pulling in, and then reaching the blades and the arms wide. One more, pulling in, stretching out long through the crown of the head and reaching back out. And we'll take our hands down and shift back to a little rest position of child's pose. Knees together or apart, depending on how you want you, your back to feel, your hips to feel. Come back into single leg kick so the elbows are coming underneath the shoulders. Hands can be together or apart. You can even hold on to your dumbbells since they're there. Little swan positions. So we're trying to keep really lifted with the navel pulling up under the ribs and the ribs pulling down towards the hips. Make sure your tailbone is not on your back. We're going to kick our right leg twice and reach. Left leg kick, kick, and reach. Now, if you can, those thighs are hovering the entire time, two inches off of the mat. Kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick, it's a stretch for the quads, a stretch for the hips, an extension of the spine. One more on each side. Kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick, and reach. Let's bring the body down. Again, push into rest position. And then we'll be coming into our elephant. And for this, I think I'm gonna step off of my mat. So elephant, Go ahead and stand up. Feet are hip width apart. Imagine your heels are glued up against the shoulder blocks on the reformer, bringing the arms overhead. And I'm rounding forward, bringing my hands down onto the mat. If you need soft bend in your knees, you certainly can. We want to keep our toes pointing straight ahead. And then I woke up this morning, so I have my palms on the mat and my feet on the mat. Soft knees if needed to be there as well. So we're gonna take four little steps forward. Keep the ears between the arms, our steps with our feet, baby steps. I'm pulling up with my abs first so I can feel the weight come off my right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, and then take two big steps with your hands forward. Doing that again, lift the abs, shoulders down, right, left, right, left and two big hand steps forward. I think I have one more to go to the end of the mat. We'll go right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, and then two big hand steps forward. Let's reverse that for fun. We'll take our two big hand steps backward, let the head dangle, go back right, left, right, left. Two big hand steps inward, and four footsteps back, two, three, four, two hand steps, and four footsteps, four, three, two, one, two hand steps, 
Hang out there for another breath in. Exhale, pull your abs in and start to roll your spine back up all the way to standing. All right, I'm coming back onto the mat. And I'll face forward. We have our um, pull, leg, uh, leg pull, long stretch. We'll come back to leg pull. So long stretch is your plank. Step one foot back, find a strong plank on that leg. The other foot joins it. And we're just gonna do our little shift of the weight forward to the fingertips and flex the heels, bringing the weight back to the toes. Point the toes, weight comes forward, flex the weight goes back. We'll do three more. And two. And one. And we'll set the knees down and pick up your dumbbells. Going with thigh stretches next. So, let's change my camera angle. There we go. Thigh stretch kneeling. Hip, knees are hip width apart. We're going to start with our arms straight out in front of the shoulders. Arms are pulled into the back. Engage your bottom. Press your hips forward before you begin. We don't want our hips to break at all. So hips are forward, gazing downward towards your chest. Gently lean back into your thigh stretch. Do not let your hips break. Keep pulling your ribs back with you and come back up. Bring the arms down. Reach back up. Lean it back, gazing down the body, lifting back up, bring the arms down. Twice more arms forward to reach back at the knees. Keep the ribs and the abs back with you. Come up, arms down one more time, up, and hinge, and lift, arms lower. Now we're going to keep hands here. Press down with the fingertips like you're trying to touch the mat, keeping your glutes engaged nice and straight up. Chest expansion. Pull the arms back. Hold there. Look over one shoulder, then the other. Center. Return the arms. Reach down with the arms up to the crown of the head and turn your head one way, then the other way. And center. And return. Twice more. Squeeze the back. Open the chest. Look. Look. Center, return the arms, down with the fingertips, up with the head and the sternum. Look, keep pulling your ribs down. Look, center, and return. Take a little break, shake out the hips. My glutes were working a lot. We're going to come back to tall kneeling, going to our arm scoops forward. So now I have my palms facing in front. My hands are going to stay in front of my thighs now. Scoop the arms up, soft elbows, right about eyebrow level, and then bring them back down. Two more, lifting the waist as you lift your arms, making sure your shoulders stay down your back, not coming up to your ears. And now we'll go up this time, making that nice open circle and all the way down to your thighs in front. Two more. I always think about holding little baby chicks in my hands when I do this on the reformer especially. Right now those little baby chicks feel kind of heavy. We'll go the other way, open wide, like they're two pounds a piece and down. Two more, open wide and lower. One more, use the open to lift the chest up and open and around and down. Taking a little hip hinge, elbows pulled back, a little bicep curl. So we're gonna do kind of old school style. So I'm reaching back, I'm gonna give my wrists a little flick up knuckles to the ceiling, curl the wrist, and then your bicep curl, keeping the upper arm behind you. Extend the arm, flip the wrist, curl the wrist, then the elbows. Three more, reach, flip the wrist, curl the wrist, and bend. Two more, reach with the knuckles, lift the wrist, curl the wrist, and bend. One more time, reach, open the chest, flick the wrist, curl the wrist, curl the bicep, and then come on up to standing on the knees. I'll set the dumbbells down off to the side, and we'll go onto our back into shoulder bridge. Shoulder bridge, 
like our first bridges, but adding on a little more challenge. So arms are down. This time I have my knees glued together, feet together, real close to the bottom. And arms to press into the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, we'll roll it down, gluing the legs together. Inhale to lift. Exhale to roll down. Reach the knees forward as you lower down. One more time. We'll hold this one up at the top. And bring all the weight onto your left heel. That frees up the right leg to lift to tabletop. Extend the leg. Keep your hips lifted and level. Take the leg down and lift. Down and up. You can go lower, maybe shin level, maybe ankle level, as long as your hips are falling out of the bridge. One more kick to your level, bend the knee, glue the knees together, switch sides. All the weight's going into my right heel. I'm pulling that heel toward my bottom, freeing up the left leg this time. Kick the leg down and up, maybe a little lower. You can gently gaze down towards your hips, right? Without changing your neck too much. Use your eyeballs. Two more. One more time. Bend the knee. Place the foot down. Squeeze the legs together. Relift that bridge up. And then roll. Roll. And roll. Rock right up to seated position. We'll go to spine twist from here. If you want your dumbbells, you certainly could. I'm going to take them out to my sides, palms facing forward, lift up out of the waist, and turn with a pulse, two, three, center, twist, two, three, inhale, exhale, 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 and up, one more each side, and lift, and last time, arms come down. Let's move into side kick series. I'm setting the dumbbells away. Rolling down onto one side. Take the hand behind the neck, lengthening the neck, head, shoulders, and hips to the back of the mat, legs to the front, top leg floats, just hip level. I'm really pressing down with that bottom leg and out through both legs. Kick to the front and the back and the front and back. Try to keep your body as stable as you can. You might even press that forearm into your trunk, feeling that you're stacked still as you move your leg and space. One more. And back. Bring the legs together. Slightly turned out the leg lifts. You can flex the foot, squeeze it down, point and lift. Flex and reach beyond that bottom leg and point and lift and reach, reach, reach. We'll do two more up. Squeeze the seat. One more up and squeeze and hold it there. Point the toe, little circles. Last three, two, one, reverse. Last three, two, one. Keep a little turnout position. We're going to lift both feet up, legs up off of the mat into the scissors. We'll sweep the bottom leg forward to begin. And then we switch the legs front and switch and switch. Brushing past real close. Legs are not too high. Three, two, and one. Bring the legs to the front of the mat once more back to a parallel position. For bicycle, the top leg will come up. We kick to the front, bend the knee, heel towards your bottom, reach the knee behind the bottom knee, extend the leg to the back diagonal, and we'll go a little quicker to the front, heel to bottom, knee behind, extend behind and front, bend behind, extend one more front, bend behind, extend, legs stop in the middle, and reverse to the back. Keep your knee behind as you bend your knee or your heel towards your bottom. Knee comes to the front and extends to the back. Keep the knee back there as you bend it in. And around to the front and long. Two more back. 
Bend it back there, bring it around, extend it forward. One more back. Bend, bring it around, extend, and legs together. We'll do our beats on the belly transition today. So hands are gonna stack underneath the forehead, flipping onto your stomach. Legs are hovered, and we open and close, open and close. Try to lift the thighs away from the mat and reach the legs longer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll on to the other side. Legs to the front corner. Hand is behind the head, pulling the head long. Top arm is pressing into the mat. Top leg hovered parallel. Kick front and back. Front and back. Body stays still, eyes stay straight ahead. Three, and back, and two, and back. Last one, to the back. Legs come together slightly turned out with that top leg lifting up. Flex and squeeze the seat to lower, point and lift. Flex and squeeze to lower, and up, and down. Three, and long, and two, and down. Last one, little circles, point the toes, squeeze the cheeks. Last three, two, and one, reverse for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the heels close, legs will hover for scissors, the bot top bottom leg starts forward and sweep the top leg forward. Go a little quicker and switch and switch and switch. For three and two and one and rest down to the front of the mat. The top leg floats up for bicycle. Kick the leg forward, bend the knee there, reach the knee back, extend the leg back to the front. Bend around to the back, extend two more front, bend around, extend. Last one in this direction. Legs come together to reverse. We go back, knee bends there, knee comes around and extends. Reach it back, bend it in, around and extend two more. Bend around and extend last time. Bend around and extend legs together. All right, come on up to seated. We're going to go back to some of the rowing exercises, normally more in the beginning of a reformer workout. We'll take our dumbbells into our hands. So back rowing is the idea here. Legs are glued together, slightly turned out. I'm going to push the punching knuckles together. My thumbs are pointing in towards me. I'm widening my chest and my upper back. And as I start to roll my tailbone under, my gaze stays forward, going back to my challenge point where I feel those abs quivering, and then the arms are gonna reach out wide. As I dive forward up and over my legs, I'm gonna reach my arms way back in opposition and upward toward the ceiling. Keep the head towards the knees as you circle your arms around, rotating in the shoulder socket. And then stack yourself up, knuckles together. We'll do that twice more. Roll the tail under. Scoop in, hollow out, hollow out, reach the legs. Stretch the arms wide to the T, right to left. Hollow out your belly as you reach your arms back, bringing your head closer to your knees, closer to your feet, and farther away from your fingertips. Circle the arms around, pulling those front ribs in deeper. One more time, up we go. Roll the spine back. Don't let your feet leave the mat. Reach the arms wide to the side. Scoop in and dive forward, lifting the arms higher. Lift the front ribs higher into the back, stretching forward. Coming back up nice and tall, 90 degree elbows. The right at shoulder level, my arms are pulled into the back. Keep that with a lift in your waist and lean it back, lean it back, lean it back. When you feel your challenge, lift the arms 
and then lift the waist up, hinging more, hinging more, head to knees. I'm turning my palms to face the floor, sweeping the palms up to the ceiling and behind the back again. Pull the palms up away from your hips to open your chest, and then sweep the arms back around, gather up that 90 degree bend twice more, a little more flow. Lengthen the waist, lean the body back, lift the arms up high, hinge all the way forward diagonally, then around the body as the arms sweep around to the back, and then back around to the front. Lift up taller, flip the palms to face you, one more, lengthen, lengthen through the crown of the head, lift the arms, get even longer, hinge it up, round it forward, reaching back, lift the arms, circle them around, and stack yourself up. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do a little side planking or snake. So in this variation today, optional to have the dumbbells. I'm sitting on my hip, my feet are top foot in front of bottom foot. I'm gonna take my top hand kind of in line with shoulder in front of me. The back hand is gonna come I have it sort of center of the mat. My fingertips are pointing at the end of the mat. So snake and twist is what I have in mind. We'll see how it goes. Firmly plant the arms, pick up the waist before you stretch your legs up. We're going to straighten the legs and lift the hips off. And we'll be in a pike. Okay, my thighs are squeezing together. I'm going to do a little snake variation here where I'm lowering my hips, looking through my arms and upward. Tuck the chin in, start to round the upper back, the middle back, and pike the hips up. Lower the hips first, snake the spine forward, uncurling the spine eyes up, and tuck the chin, rolling through the spine, lifting the hips up. I'm going to step my back foot on top of my bottom foot. You see that position there? So that when I turn to this twist, my hips are stacked vertically and I'm looking over the shoulder towards the feet. And then come back up and twist. I'm just trying to open up that bottom side waist, the hips, the back, the shoulder, and one more piking up. And I'll let the hip come all the way down, bending the elbows to release the shoulders. Hug the knees in, and we'll take the arms stretch overhead. We'll do that the other direction. So starting back arm, a little bit away from the body, fingers pointing forward. I'm going to have my top foot in front for now. Notice that foot change came after we did the snake. Front hand, kind of in line with shoulder. I can hold the edge of my mat, which is beneficial. Here we go. We're going to lift up, hiking the hips. Now, as I lower down, I want my hips to square, so my back foot is kind of just coming up onto the toes, and that feels okay. Stretching the whole body from foot to, ch to chin. Tuck the chin around the upper back, around the middle back. Pike the hips up, my elbow bend, that's all right. I'm gonna do that again. Hips first, abs, chest, chin, lift. Tuck in, roll through. Now for snake, I'm gonna take that back foot in front on top of the bottom foot, or the front foot, I guess. And as I turn now, my hips are stacking, looking over that shoulder towards my feet. Squeeze the thighs. Untwist, lift up. Hips stack, and we're reaching my hip closer to my back hand and turning the ribs, looking over the shoulder. And we'll pike up. And this time coming down, bending the knees, releasing the hands, getting off of the wrists, and taking that mermaid stretch here. Final stretch is coming up. Front split and lunge. So just turn to your knees, facing one end of your mat. Knees can be about hip width. Hands will stay down on the mat as we take one foot. I have my right foot in between the hands. That knee should be right on top of the heel. We don't want our knee to be way forward over the toes, so keep that in a vertical shin position. And then the first stretch we'll take is our lunge, our hip stretch. So my hands will come up. 
I'm dropping my tailbone, lifting the pubic bone to get that stretch, that openness across that front hip and thigh. And then we'll take that arm up. One more deep breath here, keep tucking the tail, keep lifting the pubic bone. And then that arm, that sap will come down right inside of the foot. Take the other arm up and twist the body. And then we'll bring the hand down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back foot under. Well, let's keep it down for now, but that will be your next advanced bend. We'll push back and do a half split. Half split. Maybe the toes have left the mat. Make sure your hips aren't all twisted. So you really want to keep your back square, your hips and shoulders straight across. Bring the weight back onto that foot, lifting the hands back up to the thigh for the lunge, taking that left arm up for the same arm as leg hip we're stretching. Lift the pubic bone, tuck the tail. Sweep the arm down for the twist. The other arm comes up and we reach to the ceiling. Bring the hand down to the foot again. We'll reach back into the half split. Pull that hip back towards the back foot. Coming back to the foot, bending the knee. Now we will tuck the toes under the back leg and extend that back leg. Coming into our lunge stretch once more. Here, hands up. Trying to drop my tailbone, lift my pubic bone, getting that back leg to stretch. You feel like balancing here, both arms up. Take another deep breath, drop the shoulders, lift the head, lift the chest. Bring the hands back to the floor, the mat, keeping the back heel lifted if you can into your split. Straightening both legs, maybe bending the elbows to bring the forehead closer to the shin. And then we'll bend the, other, bend the front knee, set the back knee down, and switch legs. Other side comes down, we're bringing the left foot between the hands, hands up to the knee, drop the tail, lift the pubic bone, lift the right arm up, take a breath, and reach that right arm down to the foot and twist. Coming into half split, hands both are down by the foot, Shift the weight back, walk the hands to where they feel supported, flex the foot a little bit in front, toes towards nose. We'll come back through that pattern one more time, come into your lunge, lift the hands, reach the right arm up by the ear, drop the tail, lift the pubic bone, feel that stretch through your right quad, hip flexors. Bring the hand down, open up into your twist, reach for the ceiling. Look up to the top fingers. Bring the hand back down for the half split. Shift the weight back. Walk the hands with you. Toes towards nose. And then come back to your lunge. We'll tuck the back toes under and straighten that back leg, pushing through the heel. Now always keep that knee down. Come to your lunge. Still dropping the tail towards the heel, lifting the pubic bone up, both arms up by ears if you want that balance. Keep yourself centered, squared, anchored in your front heel. And then both hands down to the mat by that foot. Straighten both legs, narrow your stance if you need it. This is my still sort of icky side in my hamstrings. So I'm giving it a little bit of caution here. Good job, everybody. We'll bend the knee, set the back knee down, and back on the two feet. Take the child's pose. And then come on up when you're ready or stay there all day. Um, thank you for coming, everybody.